Hey folks, Boba the Vulture here again with more Let's Play Rolling Thunder. Time for stage two. Time for shooting guys that have. Oh shoot, I forgot about the guys that chuck grenades at light speed. And if you just bump into the grenade, you will die. Ow. Boy, this doesn't uh, come off to a very good start even to begin with. Huh, interesting. I think usually there's supposed to be a, a grenadier here as well. Hey. Alright, you. Actually, this is something that's a little unusual. These guys will sort of take note of where you are and try and mm, take advantage. Like, if I drop down here, I can angle him down back low again. I don't really seem to be able to get in there. He's got arms. I want the arms. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the arms. Oh, I did. Bonus. Bonus super gun. Quite literally, this is essentially what has happened here. Yep. Okay. So keep walking along. Yep. Oh, I get the feeling I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Yeah, because the stage goes up this way. Alright, folks, let's not just walk into somebody's bullets. Let's walk slightly away from their bullets. Enjoying your work out there, buddy? Alright. Aha! A gameplay mechanic actually completely absent from Codename Viper. Come to think of it. Staircases. Pretty much just jumped up and down stairs. Oh. That's what I get for not pausing and uh, saving state constantly. I get uh, the treat of doing this again and <laughs> that just amuses me. Uh, okay, you die. Aha! Shot you in the boot. There's a snake in my boots. Uh-oh. Alright, you chuckling guys. Yeah, stay over there. Ooh! Yeah. Nicely done, Rolling Thunder guy. Anyhow, yeah, like I was saying before, this game was, uh... released in the arcades by Namco, but it was translated for the NES by Tengen. Or Tengen. I always said Tengen when I was a kid. I don't really know which one it is. Um, but yeah. So, this is uh, an unlicensed NES game. But, you know, it's not like one of those like crazy uh, 5 million and 1, you know, cartridge style things. Like, you could go and buy this in stores. It wasn't like it was something that you had to, you know, like, go to some variety of shady retailer to purchase. Oh, shot in the face. What a cruel end. Good thing it wasn't an end. Alright. Jump down. You know what, guys? Yeah, just... Oh my gosh, he just mushroom stomped me to death. Uh, these Ku Klux Klan members really are tricky. I was always... I uh, was under the impression that I was supposed to be, like, fighting terrorists or something in this game. Although, I mean, you know, if you were to go back politically, well, not even politically, just, you know, like, go back in your history books. I mean, the Ku Klux Klan, you know, were committed acts of terror. They were trying to scare people. But, uh, anyhow, let's not get too, uh, political in the, uh, let's play here. Oh my god, look at these guys. Okay, um, actually what we need to do here is... Yeah, let these scary guys materialize out of the sky. And, oh, that's the end of the stage. What's happening now? Oh, 
this is looking worse for our secret agent buddy or whoever that is. Okay. Um, next time we'll go to. Uh, hey, they switch backgrounds every other stage. Interesting. Hmm. But yes, I guess uh, next time we'll go to some kind of jungle. Um, and uh, look forward to seeing you there. I am Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Rolling Thunder for the NES. Thanks very much for watching.